Auto, 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 got you. You better sit your ass down. Get him on! Hey, 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 bring him here. Give yeah, it. Woo, it's a good one. treacherous night ahead for Florida as darkness begins to fall. So as a lot of y'all know, we just had a big hurricane down here in Florida, Hurricane Ian, and I mean, it devastated our state, especially the West Coast. Many spent the hurricane hunkered down in their homes, uh, protected from the wind and the rain. What did we do? We spent it hunting and removing invasive iguanas and other invasive species. Auto, auto, God, you better sit your ass down. Bring him here, Ott, quick. Come on. Let's go. Hey, 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 bring him here. Bring him here. Y'all are gonna have to forgive me. My Tacticam scope cam got crushed, actually shattered. Uh, so, you know, it ain't working right now. <clears throat> Tacticam's sending me a new one. I'll get on my scope here soon. In the meantime, no kill cam, but hey, it's what we got. Good boy, give it. Ah, ah, ah. Go fetch him up. Otto, leave it. Go fetch the others. Hey, hey, go fetch him up. Fetch him up. There. Another one there. What did we just get? Five or six? <laughs> Good deal. Good boy. Bring him here, Ott. That was successful. So the city has hired me to come in here to this complex where they have a public pool, they have a track area, uh, soccer fields, big pond, and all kind of stuff, basketball courts and, and whatnot. It's a big sport complex. And these iguanas and invasive uh, ducks and geese have just really taken it over, displaced all the native wildlife that used to be there. And they're actually starting to get aggressive with the general public. They're crapping everywhere, digging burrows, and just being a general nuisance. So uh, this is a pretty common place I come out to throughout the year to hit these invasive species and get them out of our cities. You know, I gotta give a big shout out to this city department that has hired me. They've gotten me in with a lot of the other surrounding city departments, and that's super important. These parks and, and complexes have just become breeding grounds for these invasive species. And if we don't hire anybody, don't bring anyone in to remove them, uh, it's just bad for the entire state. It harbors the animals in these places. They spill out into neighboring areas and, um, you know, everyone suffers for it. So uh, this State Department is a shining example of what should be done. And, um, you know, we're definitely seeing great results. That was a freebie. Rain or shine, Oat don't care, son. He's still out here doing his job, going full force, uh, catching, retrieving. Even in the rain and the wind, he don't care. He's still doing his job, and his tail's still a wagon. Good dog, bring him here. Heel. Come here. Oh, he's back out. Oh, he's back out. Gotcha. Good dog, bring him here. Nice work, buddy. I always say Ott does good under pressure and hell. From the hurricane, it ain't no difference, you know. He's out here in these kind of different conditions than he's used to, but hell, you don't skip a beat. That's exactly what I'm looking for in a working dog too. Uh, you know, a dog that'll take all these different adversities with the job and, and push through it and, and, you know, focus on the task at hand. The dog here. Uh, 
Hurricane paid off, didn't it, Ot? Point one. Get him, Ot. video he started to move a little bit he figured he had to go around trap that joker and he trapped his ass good dog god good dog god good dog god i got it. i got it. i got it. i got good dog hell yeah <laughs> All in all, it was a great day. We got a lot done. Um, a bunch of invasives out of this park. The city is thrilled with the work we did and very thankful that we were able to come out, do it during the hurricane, where most people don't want to go outside or they're too busy getting all their stuff ready that they can't focus on anything else. time I got back home, you know, we were really starting to get hit by the hurricane hard. Uh, all throughout the day, we were catching bands from the storm, um, heavy wind, heavy rain, but we didn't get a real good piece of the actual hurricane itself until I got back home. And, uh, you know, we were definitely getting some wind, getting some heavy rain. You know, we did get some strong winds, some things blew down on my property. But other than that, I mean, I couldn't have asked uh, for uh, better results with how we made out. Um, nothing really damaged. I will say my uncle, um, he did lose his houseboat. Um, it's a houseboat he built with his bare hands. I actually helped him build a little bit of it. And uh, that was a real heartbreaker. You know, um, he lives on the houseboat and it, it's his heart and soul went into it. And it always hurts to, to see something like that lost, sunk to the bottom of the river and you know, blown apart in pieces and uh, definitely hurts, but he's the kind of guy where he takes the punches, keeps rolling with it, and he says he's excited for his next adventure to build something cool and new, and I'm excited to, to see what that is. Our, uh, our hearts and prayers definitely go out to the Gulf Coast. They got absolutely hammered by this hurricane, harder than they've ever been hit. And, um, you know, the devastation over there is just unreal. Uh, you know, definitely, um, you know, our, our prayers go out to them, sending uh, positive thoughts to them. Uh, if you guys want to reach out and, and help over there, Captains for Clean Water is doing a lot of work. We have some buddies that went over there and did some work as well. But, um, you know, it's all about coming together as a community, helping each other out in times of need. And uh, Floridians are a great example of that for sure. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. We really appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to us. Um, if you guys want to support or um, come out on a hunt, anything like that, email pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com for leather products or to inquire about coming out on a guided hunt. And I do sell merchandise, shirts, hats, and things like that on my website, pythoncowboy.com. Uh, every little bit helps, guys. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see y'all at the next video.